Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the Satlaj Textiles and Industries Limited Q1 FY25 Earnings Conference Call. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. This call may contain some of the forward looking statements which are based which are completely based upon our beliefs, opinions and expectations as of today. These statements are not a guarantee of our future performance and involve unforeseen risk and uncertainties. The company also undertakes no obligation to update any forward looking statement to reflect developments that occur after the statement is made. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Rajib, whole time director and CFO. Thank you and over to you sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the earning and conference call for Satellite Textiles and Industries Limited for the first quarter ended 30th June 2024. I trust that you are all doing well. With me on the call today is Mr. S. K. Kandelia, advisor to chairman and Stellar IR Advisors, our investor relationship team. We have already uploaded the investor presentation and I hope everyone has had an opportunity to go through the same. Let me start the call by giving you the financial highlights of the quarter, after which Kandiliaji will fill you in with the business highlights as well as the industry highlights. Geopolitical tensions have disrupted the global supply chain and caused significant volatility in raw material prices impacting the man-made fiber industry. The sector is grappling with several challenges, including subdued demand, the rate sea crisis, labor shortages due to elections and rising energy costs. For Q125, our consolidated total income came in at 665 crores. Gross profit stood at 293 crores, which was higher by 9% on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. Gross margin for the quarter stood at 44%, which is higher by 4% on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. EBITDA for the quarter was 25 crores, as against 13 crores in Q424. We are witnessing a slow and gradual recovery in our operations. Total long-term debt further reduced by 22 crores, and working capital borrowing also reduced by 27 crores in Q1 FY25. Our debt equity is maintained constantly below 1% around 0.81 as of now. Those were my opening remarks. I will now request uh, Khandiliya ji to kindly take it forward with the business and industry updates. Thank you, Rajiv. Good afternoon, everyone. And thank you all for joining us on this conference call today. The recent developments of heightened geopolitical tensions in West Asia Political turmoil in neighboring Bangladesh, increased ocean threats, supply chain disruptions, and recession fears in USA have exacerbated the already challenging business environment, first by the textile industry in general and spinning industry in particular. While the Indian domestic story remains largely intact, we are witnessing a lower than expected increase in demand ahead of the festival season. We are focusing on improving our efficiencies, cutting costs, and fine tuning our product mix as per evolving consumer preferences in domestic and export markets. While we remain cautious, we are confident of weathering all the challenges that by our strong foundation and agile organization, a strong balance sheet and our customer centric, centric focus. Thank you. So should we go forward with the Q&A session? Yeah, please. Yeah, please. Sure. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, 
we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. A reminder to all participants that you may press star and one to ask a question. The first question is from the line of Akshay Malani from MA Investment. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, sir. Uh, so I have a couple of questions. So to start with, uh, we have been reducing losses in the past few quarters from 26 crore to 11 crore. Can we expect uh, positive numbers in coming quarters? You see, uh, we, have improved, we have been improving because we have been tightening our, as I mentioned, that we have been improving efficiencies, cutting costs, and market conditions has been continuing to be challenging. So far, as your question that going forward, of course, we do hope, but the situation continues to be very challenging. As I mentioned, say in export markets, say in cotton and cotton blended Milan, Bangladesh is one of our important market. Similarly, for exports, we are about uh, one third always in the exports. So ocean threats are very high. There are so many geopolitical challenges. In domestic market also, overall textile, uh, whether it is from yarn to finished fabrics and garments, there is about significant quantities being exported. And if that is under challenge, then naturally the pressure comes on spinning also. So challenges are there, visibility is not there, so it is very difficult to say. But uh, we hope that we will con it may be a matter of time or something like that, maybe a quarter or two, but we never know because visibility is not there. So as we have been improving quarter on quarter, let's see how does it work out. Right, right. And also, so as you mentioned about the Bangladesh, recently there have been a couple of things happening about Bangladesh. So many, uh, you know, international uh, buyers are looking for alternative supplier. So what do you think how this can help us? So I think Bangladesh has already started, factories have already started working and things are getting normalized there. And temporarily some, but you see, in when China One Plus policy came and such yes. type of things, so the diversion is not so easy. It takes a lot of long time. And then you need to have larger capacity in Bangladesh is definitely much more efficient in terms of the cost. And they have the they have been doing particular type of garments and India has been doing a specialty type of garments, so there is some difference. So temporary there can be some benefit, but I think in Bangladesh major revenue is from the garment and textile industry only. Right. So they, they will come back so that there is not going to major benefit immediately. But of course, whenever any buyer is there, he always thinks that what alternative I can have and that way large garment manufacturers of India and entire textile industry to some extent may benefit but not very big okay okay and sir also uh, now to our business part so can you give us uh, give me some update on our home textiles business and how much revenues are we expecting like going ahead you see home textile business as you know in home textile we are in curtains and upholstery and something like that so three years back we had started our own cut service and that is picking up, as you might have seen from the three years, if you take three years data, you will find that our losses have been going down and now we are a bit of positive in that business also. So that because it takes little time, because it's a cut service, it is a specialty type of business. So but that is improving and bit by bit and hopefully going forward it will improve further. Right, and so have you seen any uh, extended demand on the export front? About uh, home textile, yes. In exports, yeah. exports uh, so far our products uh, which we manufacture, curtains and upholstery, 
our exports are going a little bit there. They are seeing better demand in there. Okay. So any number are you expecting, or you are just going with the organic growth? So number I may not be using right now here, but uh, say exports, if I say. Uh, Say about five ten percent growth in export numbers. Five ten percent growth in export. In the non textile, in non textile. Understood. Sir. I have a couple of few more questions, but I'll come back in a few. Yeah, please. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. A reminder to all the participants that you may press star and one to ask a question. Participants who wish to ask a question may press star and one. The next question is from the line of Akshay Malani from MA Investment. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you so much for opportunity once again. So, to, uh, to continue with our discussion, so last quarter you mentioned you have roughly 36 coll uh, collection in the market for Nest Era, right? So, yeah. have you increased any new collection, or what's the status on it? How are we seeing the numbers on those 36 collections? You see, we already have launched 36 collections, and every year yeah. we are launching 12 new collections. So, this year also we will be launching two, two, a uh, 12 new collections, and normally one collection has a life cycle of five years. Okay. So, up to 60 collections we will continue to launch, and we will continue to launch every year. But the first one, second one will be withdrawn. After normally after four, five years, those are withdrawn, and new collections are always there. So always about 50, 60 collections will be in the market. So as we are going along, as I mentioned last time, we have opened a warehouse at Panipat also, so that the for the north markets uh, okay. delivery is faster from there. So that is also showing improvement. So that is there. And also, sir, as we are. Backward integrated and forward integrated, and recently uh, we are going to get subsidy on a green fiber unit as well. So, any update on that? No, no, there is no subsidy on green fiber except that it is preferred fiber because of sustainability. So, that is already there. Plant is already working, so there is nothing, no new initiative there. So, we are only consolidating whatever we have right now. Okay, okay, okay. So that's it for now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. A reminder to all the participants that you may press star and one to ask a question. The next question is from the line of Shruti Vasani from Stella AMC. Please go ahead. Hello. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity. So, uh, I can you please speak a little louder? Yes, sir. So, I wanted to know the overall what is the outlook on the sector now, and what are the growth drivers that we should track for the for success? What is the outlook of the industry, and what is the growth drivers you can foresee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You see, at present the outlook is little bit for the short term. Short term outlook is little hazy. That, as I mentioned in my opening remark, there is lot of geopolitical tensions are going on, and about one third of our products are being exported. And for the textile industry as a whole, also, uh, lot of products are being exported. So if the exports are facing challenges, and due to that, and due to that, there is pressure in domestic market also. So the this is uh, age of now. The position is little bit challenging and hazy. Visibility is not there, but definitely India is present from the fiber to fashion. So India, I hope that India should have a good future in the textile business. Okay, okay, yeah, that's it, Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. A reminder to all the participants that you may press star and one to ask a question.
The next question is from the line of Akshay Malani from MA Investment. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. So I had few more questions. So as uh, we were planning for additional capex, so uh, any update on that? So have we decided anything? How much are we going to spend and anything like that? No, we are not. We, earlier we had planned for one new project, and that we had already talked, and that was informed in the last meeting itself. And without, there is no visibility as of now. So for okay. the time being, we have dropped that, and whenever the opportunity will come, so we will again look into. That and we keep on exploring. So routine capex is going on as per plan because we have to keep our plant always updated. So that is that is a normal regular process. But any new plant is not being put up right now. No, is there any specific reason for not uh, continuing that plan or? Uh... You see, we have already dropped that because it was a 800, 900 port project, and since the visibility of the textile market is not there. And we may think of something else, we keep on evaluating. On evaluation, we found that it is not the right time to put in, go ahead with such a huge project. So that's why we dropped it. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. A reminder to all the participants that you may press star and one to ask a question. A reminder to all participants that you may press star and 1 to ask a question. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as there are no further questions, we have reached the end of our question and answer session. I would now like to hand the conference over to the management for closing comments. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Though there may be temporary challenges uh, in the textile industry and spinning industry in particular, but I am I am hopeful that going forward, as, as in the past, uh, the things will be uh, better. And again, we will get back to the earlier level of EBITDA and the profits. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of Circuit Textiles and Industries Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us. You may now disconnect your lines.